Hello Convicts attendees, my name is Roger Van Pelt for the Fresno Commodore Users Group and the subject of this demonstration is going to be transferring files uh, from a Commodore computer to a modern PC uh, the somewhat old-fashioned way via null modem cable um, as this is the only means that I have to do um, with this setup that I've got here, uh, it is possible to do. Many people used to do this in the past, but maybe it's been a while since you've seen it. So I have NovaTerm loaded on the C64 here, and um, over here I've got uh, Linux, um, Ubuntu, and I have a terminal program, Minicom, loaded. Uh, of course, you can use whatever terminal program you like whatever operating system you like on the PC side just as long as you can do serial file transfers um, on both ends and I'm using Z modem uh, set to 2400 baud in both terminal programs so I'm going to transfer a file, an image file from the Commodore to the PC so I've got my disk loaded my, uh, source disk uh, in the drive for the Commodore. So I'm going to go control U to upload the file and search the directory. Okay. I'm going to pick a doodle file and select the file. Now it's waiting for me to receive the file over on this side. Z modem file transfer. Waiting to receive. And the transfer begins. I had to do this recently uh, for Dickestel to transfer over 200 files from two uh, D81, well, two um, three and a half inch floppies uh, to a PC. And unfortunately, we couldn't do it through a more modern method. This is the only way I was able to transfer all 250 files but we were able to do it successfully and then put them into a disk image we have 8192 bytes no retries so far which is good one file sent okay any key to continue and I'll just close this. Okay, now need to make a disk image here. New disk image. Okay, and I'm going to put my image file into it. Here it is on the desktop. Save as um, test and in my desktop, save file. Cancel or replace. Oh, replace, I guess. Must have already had that. Okay, and I'm using Directory Master here to load the disk image. Is it open?
test. There's a disk image, and we can view the file. And there's our image file transferred from the Commodore to the PC. Um, you can do this with any type of file, of course, it does not have to be an image file. And uh, when you get on the PC side, you can make disk images or manipulate the files however you want, put them in a zip file, and it makes it much easier to work with them once you transfer them to the PC. I'm using a VIC 1011A with a no modem cable. Um, the design uh, I got from Leaf Bloomquist, but it's not necessary to use this cable. Uh, you can, if you're using, say, a Turbo 232 or a SwiftLink cartridge, um, you can use the standard cable that uh, comes with those or is designed for those. Um, as long as you can do a serial file transfer, uh, it should work just fine. Well, thank you very much, and I hope you found this somewhat informative. And um, have a good time at Convex.